This week I've made a pretty in pink resin geode for you. And does anyone else feel like they just woke up in a horrible sci-fi movie? I promise this video is going to showcase how I made this little pretty and pink geode for you. But I also had this nagging feeling in my soul and heart and I just feel like I needed to let you know where I'm at, where we're at in this crazy world we're in right now with this pandemic and just how it may be affecting our lives. And I'd love to know how it's affecting you. Maybe you're not even worried at all. Maybe it hasn't impacted your life. Maybe you're terrified like I am. <laughs> but let's keep this a supportive, loving community. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I am a worrier. I've always been a worrier. And so I've got this amazing family and all I can think about is worrying about what if something happens to them. My husband and best friend has an autoimmune disease and is definitely immunosuppressed and I really worry about him. And then we've got four kids and four grandbabies and our parents and my mother-in-law and my cousins and my friends on social media <laughs> and my mind just is exploding with worry and concern for everyone. And then I'm thinking, is art really that important right now? Like who wants to see me make a resin geode right now? There's so many people that are having so many serious things happen in their lives all over the world. And honestly, I just felt like it was stupid to put out a video. But I reached out and posted a few things on my Instagram and on my community post here. So the consensus was that maybe these art videos aren't so silly and if it just gets someone's mind off of what's going on in their world for a few minutes that it was worth me making these videos for you. In our lives personally, now my husband is without his job and will be at home. The good news is he's also a painter and an artist and so we think maybe we will come up with some new videos for you guys. He's very shy but I'm hoping to incorporate some of his artwork as well. I just needed to take a minute with you and let you know where my heart is and why it's taken me so long to post this video and what's going on in our lives because it might change the way I do my channel. So till further notice, I'm gonna keep making videos. I'm not quite sure where and how this channel is gonna transform, but you've got two artists living in the same house and we've got a lot of time on our hands, so we'll see what we can come up with for you. I'm sending you all love, help, and happiness. And in the meantime, let's get busy making this little resin geode. As soon as I received this unicorn glitter by Dryer Days, I knew I was going to base my whole geode off of the color of this glitter. It's so gorgeous. And they also sent me this really great geode cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with some polycrylic wood sealer by Minwax. And don't worry, I will be sure to list all of the supplies that I use in the description below the video. It's a really good idea to seal any porous surfaces such as wood because you'll get little air bubbles that come up through the surface of the wood and through your resin and you just don't want that. And now that my board is sealed, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the back and I'm just using a Scotch General Purpose Masking Tape. This allows me to easily pull off all of the resin drips that are gonna occur and I'll show you that at the end of the video. You'll notice I've already drawn some lines and sketched out where I might want this pink glitter to go on my board and I'll continue with those in a little bit here. And then I'm taking some of my Arteza metallic acrylic paints. I love these paints and I'm just creating kind of an idea of how I might like my resin to be poured out on the board. I also did this in my last geode and I'll link that above if you haven't seen it. 
and that one turned out really pretty as well. And now that my paints are dry, I go ahead and level my board so that the resin stays put. And then don't forget to get out your respirator. And I'm using Counterculture DIYs Art Resin. It's a two-part resin. And you just mix equal parts of A and B together really good, and you're ready to rock and roll. This resin I like to use for my geodes because it is thicker and it doesn't run as much. Don't be shy with your glitter. Dump a whole bunch of that in and it'll help keep your resin on the board and from running all over the place. Isn't this glitter beautiful? I'm not normally a pink kind of girl when it comes to my art pieces, but I gotta tell you, this glitter has totally changed my mind. And now I just cover it up and I let it cure overnight and I'm ready to move on to the next section. Time to mix up the second layer of resin. And now I'm using some of my own mica powder pigments. Once upon a time I created a set of 21 colors out of my own overflow bulk and that's what these are. I have about 15 sets left if you're interested I'll link it below but that is it. So I've combined my grandmother's pearls and my silver ashes to create a lighter silver kind of shimmery look because I didn't want it too dark. So I let this cure overnight and now I'm going to start mixing some whites. You'll see that I love to mix and match my pigments and glitters. So I've taken some May Spring Pearl White and I'm adding in some Snow White Glitter. And then I'm even going to add in some Armor Art Liquid Epoxy Pigment just because I want to get the look I'm after. So don't be afraid to mix and match. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some bubblegum pink out of our Arteza's Mica Powder Pigment Collection. And I just thought that played really well against that glitter. And now I'm going to go in with my culinary torch and that just is to pop the bubbles and soften the lines. And then you'll see that I go through with a popsicle stick and add a little bit of glitter and create some more interest in this piece.
In this case, I'm using my resin like glue to adhere these gorgeous mirrored glass pieces. And then this was a painstakingly long application process and I don't want to bore you so I'm going to kind of go through this real quick and just show you what it looked like when I was done and I let it cure before I move on. And now I mix up a bit more resin and I add a whole lot of this moon dust by Counterculture DIY. It's so gorgeous. Doesn't it look like sparkly marshmallow fluff? And once that cures, I use my silver leafing pen and start doing some detail work. I go along the edges and the sides and also I define some of the top. And I think that's what really brought this whole piece together. And to finish this piece off, I'm adding my final clear coat of resin. And I pour a nice thick layer over the top of this piece and then I spread it out with a popsicle stick and I torch the bubbles out really good, cover up and let it cure. And then once it's cured I'll remove all that tape from the back. Does anyone else hate sanding their pieces? This is why I tape the back of my boards because at the end I can just heat it up with my heat gun and the drips peel right off. I'd love to know what you think of this piece in the comments below. And again, I just am wishing you all health, happiness, and love, and hoping we can get through this together share something positive with you and take your mind off the world and the craziness even if just for a few minutes have a great day and happy creating everyone